Ratio and proportion. Ratio is the comparison of two quantities given two numbers A and B such that B is not equal to zero. A ratio of A to B is the quotient of A divided by B. It is represented in four ways. So it can be A to B. It can be A is to B. It can be A over B. And it can be A slash B. Give the ratio of the following. So for us to give the ratio, so we're going to write A over B. Okay. So, bibilangin natin kung ilan ang parts na isang object. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Kung ilan, yun ang denominator. So, that is 4. At kung ilan naman yung shaded part, yun ang ating numerator. So, 1, 4. So, for number 1, our, our ratio is 1 is to 4 or 1, 4. So, letter B. So, A over B. That is equal to our B is the total number of division in an object. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 7. And our shaded portion is 1, 2. So, 2. So, therefore, our ratio here is 2 over 7. And for number 3, so our A over B is equal to, so how many, div how many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, we have 9. So, 9 division and the shaded portions are how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5. So, therefore, our ratio is 5 over 9. Okay, kapag sinabi naman nating proportion, proportion is an equal ratio. If ratios A, A is to B and C is to D are equal, then we write A is to B is equal to C is to D. Or, A over B is equal to C over D. This proportion is read as A is to B as C is to D. A is to B as C is to D. So, these four numbers, A, B, C, and D, are called terms. Now, if we are going to take a look at term A and D, these are called extremes. And the terms B and C are called the means. So, these are the two types of terms in a proportion. In a proportion, A is to B as C is to D. So, this term, B and C, are means, and these are the extremes. Now, so these are our means, and this is our extremes. For us to say that this proportion, that these ratios are proportion, we are going to multiply our means. So, our means, so product, so that will be B times C. It should be equal to the product of our extremes. So the product of our extremes is A times D. So it should be B, B C is equal to A D for us to say that these ratios are proportion. Examples, identify if the following ratios are proportion. So, for number 1, we have 1 half and 4 over 8. So, we're going to write this as 1 is to 2 is equal to 4 is to 8. So, let us check. If we are going to multiply, so 2 times 4, that is 8. Number Then, for our extremes, 1 times 8, that is 8. So, therefore, it is proportion. Because the mean is equal to the extremes. For number 2, if we have 2 over 3, so we have 2 is to 3, sorry. So 2 is to 3 is equal to 8 is to 12. Then if we are going to multiply, 3 times 8, that is 24. Then 2 times 12, that is also 24. So therefore, number 2 is, a proportion. Then for number 3, 
If we will have 3 is to 5 is equal to 6 is to 15. So let's multiply. So 3, 5 times 6, that is 30. Then 3 times 15, that is 45. So means is 30, extremes is 45. Are they equal? So they are not equal, therefore this is not proportion. Example, solve each of the following proportion. So, number 1, 5 over 8 is equal to question mark over 40 is equal to 15 over question mark. So, in this proportion, we have 3 ratios and these 3 ratios are equal. So, solving for the question mark, so let's first take the first, the first 2 ratio. So, we have 5 is to 8 is equal to question mark is to 40. So, we'll have 8 question mark is equal to, so that is our mean and for our extreme. So, we have 5 times 40. So, we have 8 question mark is equal to 5 times 40 is 200. Then, divide both sides by 8. So, cancel. Question mark is equal to 25. Then, so we'll have, this will become 5 over 8 is equal to 25 over 40 is equal to 15 over question mark. So, let's take any of these two. So, let's have 25 is to 40 is equal to 15 is to question mark. So, we'll have 40 times 15 is equal to 25 question mark. So, we'll have 4 times 15 is 600 which is equal to 25 question mark. Then, divide both sides by 25. So, cancel. So, question mark is equal to 24. So, this will become 5 over 8 is equal to 25 over 40 is equal to 15 over 24. Number 2. 16 over 24 is equal to 4 over question mark is equal to question mark over 18. So, again, let's Take the first two ratio. So we have 16 is to 24 is equal to 4 is to question mark. So we will have our mean 24 times 4 is equal to our extremes, the product. So we have 16 question mark. So we will have 24 times 4 is 96 is equal to 16 question mark. Then divide both sides by 16. So cancel your question mark is equal to 6. Okay, so this will become 16 over 24 is equal to 4 over 6 is equal to question mark over 18. So let's take the second and third ratio. So 4 is to 6 is equal to question mark is to 18. So, again, our mean, so 6 question mark is equal to our extreme 4 times 18. So, we have 6 question mark is equal to um, 4 times 18, that is 72. Then, divide both sides by 6. So, cancel. So, we have question mark is equal to 12. So, this will become 16 over 24 is equal to 4 over 6 is equal to 12 over 18. Examples. Find x in the following proportion. So, 2 is to 4 is equal to 8 is to x. So, again, we are going to find the product of our means 
and our extreme. So, for our mean, so we will have 4 times 8 is equal to 2 times x. So, 4 times 8 is 32, which is equal to 2x. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, uh, your x is equal to 16. So, therefore, x is equal to 16. So, you have 2 is to 4 is equal to 8 is to 16. Then, when we multiply, we have 32. So, 4 times is 8 is 32. Then, 2 times 16 is also 32. Number 2. So, we have 3 over x is equal to 24 over 40. So, we are going to rewrite this as 3 is to x is equal to 24 is to 40. Then, we are going to get our means. Multiply, the, uh, get the product of our means. So, we have x times 24 is equal to 3 times 40. 3 times 40. So, 24 times x is 24x is equal to 3 times 40 is 120. Then, if we are going to divide both sides by 24, so, cancel 24, our x is equal to 5. So, therefore, we have 3 is to 5 is equal to 24 is to 40. Then, if we multiply 5 times 24, that is 120. Then, 3 times 40 is 120. Number 3. 2 over x plus 5 is equal to 6 over 8x. So, again, we are going to get the product of our means and extremes. So, you have 2 is to x plus 5 is equal to 6 is to 8x. So, we are going to multiply our means. So, we have 6 times x plus 5 is equal to our extremes. 2 times 8x so you will have multiply distributive property so 6 times x that is 6x then 6 times 5 so 30 so plus 30 is equal to 2 times 8x that is 16x then we're going to apply addition property of equality so we have 60, 6x minus 16x equal to negative 30 then uh, subtract 6, 6x minus 16x that is negative 10x is equal to negative 30 then divide both sides by negative 10 so your x so cancel x is equal to 3 then, if we are going to check, so we have 2 over 3 plus 5 is equal to 6 over 8 times 3. So, that is equal to 2 over 8 is equal to 6 over 24. So, we have 2 is to 8 is equal to 6 is to 24. So, you multiply 8 times 6, that is 48. Then 2 times 4, that is 48. So therefore, our x is positive 3. Then for number 4, so we have 8, x minus 8 is to 15 is equal to x is to 45. Then again, we are going to multiply our means. So that is 15 times x is equal to... We have x minus 8 times 45. So, 15 times x, that is 15x, is equal to x times 45, that is 45x, minus 8 times 45, that is 360. Then, apply addition property equality. So, we have 15x minus 45x equal to negative 360. 
So, 15x minus 4x, 45x, sorry. So, that is negative 30x, which is equal to negative 360. Then, divide both sides by negative 30. So, cancel. x is equal to negative times, ne divided by negative is positive. Then, we have 360 divided by 30 is 12. If we are going to check if our x is correct, so we will have x minus 8 over 15 is equal to x over 45. So since our x is 12, so we have 12 minus 8 over 45 is equal to 12 over, sorry, 15. 12 over 45. So 12 minus 8, that is 4. Over 15 is equal to 12 over 45. Then if we are going to multiply, so if we are going to rewrite, I mean, so 4 is to 15 is equal to 12 is to 45. Then if we are going to multiply 12 times 15, 12 times 15 is 180. Then, 4 times 45 is also 180. Okay, for number 5, so we have 3 ratios that are proportion. Meaning, this one is equal to this one, is equal to this one. So, basta itong tatlong ito ay equal sa isa at isa. So, pwedeng isang part muna ng proportion ng ating kuhanin. Pwedeng ito muna. X plus 2 is to 5 is equal to 4x plus 1 is to 15. Then, mamaya na tong 7x over 25. So, getting this, so let's multiply our means. So, that will become 5 times 4x plus 1 is equal to our extremes. That is x plus 2 times 15. Then distributive property. So 5 times 4x that is 20x plus 5 times 1 that is 5 equals x times 15 that is 15x. Then 2 times 15 that is 30. So plus 30. Then ad applying addition property of equality. So we have 20x. Minus 15x is equal to 30 minus 5. So, we'll have 20x minus 15x that is 5x equals 30 minus 5 is 25. Then, divide both sides by 5. So, our x is equal to 5. So, the value of x is 5. Substituting our x to our proportion so that will become so that will become 5 plus 2 over 5 equals 4 times 5 plus 1 over 15 so that is equal to 7 over 5 is equal to 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 is 21 over 15 then so, I will have 7 is to 5 is equal to 21 is to 15. So, we will have 105. Oh. So, 15 times 7 is also 105. Therefore, our proportion here is from x plus 2 over 5 equals for x plus 1 over 15 equals 7x over 25. So that will become 7 over 5 is equal to 21 over 15 is equal to 7x over 25. Then solving for x here. Pero kanina, kung sinolve natin yung x, pwede na rin substitute yung x. But, 
if we are going to try to find if that x satisfy this star this ratio so let's have so let's have 7x 7 over 5 i mean is equal to 7x over 25 so this will become 5 times 7x is equal to 7 times 25 so this will become 35 over x is equal to 7 times 5 is 35, carry 3, 7, 14, plus 3 is 175. Then, divide both sides by 35. So, cancel 35. So, x is equal to 5. So, therefore, So, therefore, our proportion is 7 over 5 is equal to 21 over 15 is equal to 35 because 5 times 7 is 35 over 25. Okay, for number 6, so we have 12 over 5x is equal to 4 over x plus 1 is equal to 20 over 8x plus 0.5. So again, let's first take the, the two ratios as proportion. So that will become 12 times x plus 1 is equal to 5x times 4. So distributive again, so that is 12x plus 12 is equal to 5 times 4 that is 20x then add the additive uh, addition property so 12x minus 20 x is equal to negative 12 so we have negative uh, 12x minus 20x that is negative 8x is equal to negative 12. Then, divide both sides by negative 8. So, can cancel out negative 8. So, the answer is x is equal to, so negative divide negative is positive. So, 12 over 8 or, so we have divide both sides by 4. So, 4, so that is 3 over 2 or 1.5. Then for the second one, so let's take the second and third ratios. So that will become 4 times 8x plus 0 0.5 is equal to x plus 1 times 20. So again, distributive. So we have 4 times 8x is 32x. Then 4 times 0 0.5 is 2, so plus 2, equals 20 times x, that is 20x, then plus 20. So that will become 32x minus 20x is equal to 20 minus 2. So this will become, so this is 20x, sorry. So this will become 12x is equal to 20 minus 2 is 18 divide both sides by 12 so cancel so x is equal to so by 6 so this is 3 over 2 so we get x to be 1.5 then substituting this to our ratio or proportion that is 12 over 5 times 1.5 is equal to 4 over 1.5 plus 1 is equal to 20 over 8 times 1.5 plus 0 0.5 so this is equal to 12 over so we have 25 carry 2, 7.5 is equal to 4 over 2.5 is 
is equal to 20 over so this is 40 carry 4 12 so plus 0 0.5 so this is 12 12 over 7.5 equal to 4 over 2.5 is equal to 20 over 12.5 Please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell para sa mga bagong video ang upload ko. Thank you for watching!